And finally this week, before we go, I know the world is a bleak place right now, so we wanted to leave you with a happy story, and it involves Bolivia, a country you think about so little, you don't even realise that's not Bolivia, that's Colombia, except it isn't, that's Venezuela. That is Colombia, except it isn't, that's Bolivia, which is the one we were looking for in the first place. Which one's Colombia? There is simply no way to know. <laughs> the point is, the Bolivian city of La Paz has had long-standing problems with their roads, including traffic jams and a high rate of fatal accidents. And I know that you're thinking, wait, hold on. Your happy story involves fatal car accidents in Bolivia. Well, wait, wait, wait. Trust me. Because this is the solution they came up with. Appropriating the image of the crosswalks called zebras and dressed in a costume of the animal by the same name, these young people have been going into the street of the city of La Paz for the past 13 years with the goal of educating the citizens with love and changing the chaotic face of the vehicular traffic in this city. Admit it, you didn't see that coming. <laughs> Not a single one of you was sitting there going, traffic zebras, I'm calling it traffic zebras. Yes! <laughs> now, these zebras don't have policing powers like the ability to issue tickets or make arrests. Instead, they just tease people. And if you look online, and I cannot recommend you do that enough, <laughs> There is incredible footage of them in action. Uh, you can see everything from a zebra holding his head while a man jaywalks uh, to one dancing and spinning around in front of a speeding van that stops just in the nick of time <laughs> to this zebra risking his life to stop a car to the many, many clips of zebras dancing, every single one of which, especially the last one, is absolutely superb. Watch him throw that down. And at this point, you may be wondering, how did this happen? <laughs> well, it was based on a similar program in Colombia, uh, where they dispatched traffic mimes to monitor pedestrians. And as far as having mimes rove around your city, I think we can all agree, no. <laughs> Not only is it tremendously unpleasant, but being mocked by a mime doesn't even work. All you have to say is, I can talk and you can't. <laughs> Argument one, you lock him in a glass box and you walk away. <laughs> But Bolivia has really taken it up a notch with this whole zebra business. The programme started with just 24 of them, and today, in La Paz alone, there are 265. That is a population boom so great, it puts actual zebras to shame. And that is saying something, because zebras notoriously have no shame. Put it away! Put it away! That thing is a liability! Tuck it away! And while it may look like fun for people, this, this is a real job with strict rules. They explain some of the rules to be zebras, like honor the costume, don't eat when you work, never, never take your head off. That is a good rule. Never take your head off. You cannot risk shattering an innocent child's belief that you are a real free-roaming bipedal talking equid 6,000 miles from Africa. And by the way, that applies even in interview situations. There are many, many clips of reporters shoving microphones in zebras' faces. Even one with a zebra giving an interview to another zebra. This is very significant for me. I really like what I'm doing. And it's not just about telling people what to do. Come on! Every interview is improved by a zebra head. There's a lesson for everyone there. Stressful interview with 60 minutes? Put on a zebra head. Tough questions on the red carpet? You put on a zebra head. Sean Spicer, get yourself a zebra head, man. What is wrong with you? And, and here's the thing. It doesn't just help with Bolivia's traffic. Many of the people in those costumes really need the work. Many of the zebras are young people who are recovering drug addicts and alcoholics. It's a way for them to get their lives back on track and to give something back to society. Look, they're not only getting their lives on track. I'm pretty sure the existence of these zebras is the only thing keeping my life on track right now. <laughs> and is it any wonder how beloved these zebritas are, considering the attitude that they project? Zebrita! <laughs> <laughs> 